Yeah. That's new. It's new. Here with Stephen Weiss, uh, you got your uh, got your surgery all done. Uh, how you feeling these days? Uh, I feel good. Um, glad to get that out of the way and, and get the problem solved. And uh, now it's just a matter of doing the proper rehab and then getting it uh, strong and, and ready to go for the summer and uh, start the next season. You said you, you this is your second cast. You're in three more weeks and you're out of the cast. That's got to feel good that you see that light, right? Yeah, no, for sure. Um, it's actually gone pretty fast, the whole process, so uh, three more weeks with this on and uh, and then get that off and keep strengthening and uh, and then uh, you know go through the summer process of training and hopefully don't have any setbacks and then uh, carry it in the next year healthy. Uh, Dale Talon said the other day that you and your, your agent and he had talked, I guess, last Friday and thought things went well. How are things looking at on your end of things? Uh, good. Um, you know, it's nice to be in conversation with them, for sure. Um, obviously, it's no secret that I've loved playing here, and, uh, and last year was a big step for our hockey club, and, and uh, I'd, I'd love to finish my career here. Whether whether or not that works out or not is, is remains to be seen, but, uh, but we're going to be talking and, and communicating and, uh, and see if we can work something out. Do you look at July 1 being a long way away, or would you... Or is it not as long as we I'm think? I'm really not uh, looking at that at all. Yeah. I'm focused on uh, on my day-to-day -day rehab stuff and, uh, and and training my legs and, and just staying in shape and, and working towards the hockey season next year. All the contract stuff and where I'm going to play is going to take care of itself when it comes. But uh, you know, I'm not too worried about that, to be honest with you. Obviously, the season has gone the way a lot of people have hoped it would. But do you like seeing the youth around the locker room and, and what's coming up? Yeah, absolutely. It's fun to see guys that we've drafted over the years that uh, that I've seen get drafted, and you can kind of keep an eye on in college and in the juniors, and then see them come up and play with us. It's, it's pretty neat to be here for that. So, um, Booby and, and Shorzy and uh, and now Nick coming up is is, is pretty cool. So. Hopefully, uh, um, you got more guys like that coming up in the system that can contribute. Now, when you came up, you've you've said that that maybe it probably may not have been in hindsight may not have been the best thing to come up as soon as you did. You stad same kind of situation the last 10 11 games of the season yeah uh, what any advice for him on how to handle this um you know what there are different circumstances i feel like now uh he i wasn't six five and uh you know 200 pounds i was uh coming off three years of playing deep into the playoffs and i was about 170 pounds and uh different rules back then when you could still clutch and grab and uh um just felt kind of, I felt great the first game, I thought it was easy, and then uh, after that were the six hardest games we ever played in this league, and I realized I had a lot of work to do, and then uh, and then um, the years after that, my first year, obviously just not playing a lot is tough, you know, trying to play eight to ten minutes a night and, and, and contribute offensively like you're used to is tough to do, and, and probably not realistic, so... My advice to him would be enjoy it, take as much in as you can in these 10 games, and uh, go back in the summer and train like an animal and come back in good shape and, and uh, be ready to go. Like you said, you scored in your first game, and then it was a struggle to score goals that get into that year and then that next year. Yeah. It's not going to come easy, I don't think. How, did, how does he need to handle that and, and, and be, maybe be prepared for that? Yeah, I think you just... If you have the mindset that this is the best league in the world, and, uh, and unless you're, I've always said, unless you're Sidney Crosby or you know Stan Coles, guys like that that can, that are you know the best players in the world, you're gonna have a tough time early scoring goals and doing the things that you've done in junior or college or whatever. So um, you just got to stick with the process, and like I said, take as much in as you can from from guys that have been around and have been through similar situations. And just not get down on yourself. Realize that uh, it's a process, and you got to learn. And um, when things aren't going great, don't get too down. And when things are going good, you can't get too high as well. Just say even keel.